My disclosure checklist. This is kind of an aha moment for a lot of people. I really like this module, mainly because we know how much of a bear the disclosure checklist can be. I mean, a lot of the times you're working with a hundred and plus page document. And that document you've got to fill out with a lot of extraneous NAs. You also don't know whether or not you're working within the most current version. Within Checkpoint Engage Disclosure Checklist, you have the ability to check for more current disclosure checklists, and you also have the ability to check for new disclosure requirements that haven't been considered in the checklist too. After I've done that update, what I can do is I can go in here and tailor that disclosure checklist. So if I'm working with a client that doesn't have notes and account receivables, just for example, or perhaps they're not working with inventories, I don't want to include those areas as well as market marketable debt and securities. What I can do again is just tailor the disclosure checklist so that it's applicable for my client for this particular engagement. Any of these choices that I make will roll forward from year after year as I perform the roll forward process within cloud within the cloud audit suite. 